torque tau or moment of force. Tau is a vector quantity. So we have to precise the direction, the magnitude and the unit. In general, tau is a simple relation between the position vector of the force F cross F equals to, you know, A cross B equals to A times B times the uh, sine the angle between A and B. So here we have R times F times sine theta between R and F. And here we have to put the direction of tau. It can be G or my J or my J. It depends the problem. Let's, uh, I give you a simple example to understand what I mean by R and F. Let's take a simple road. This road can uh, rotate around an axis passing through one point. Here we take point A. And you know we have the weight of the object downward and we have the reaction of the axis upward. Without R, the system will fall down, okay? Okay, now I want to study the system when the object is uh, horizontal like this one because maybe when the system moves down, we get another uh, study. I take now this position. I need to calculate tau. Before, I have to know the components of mg and r. I have to draw a line between, uh, along the system like this. Here we have only one component of R and one component of Mg. If we have, for example, F like this, you can put one component here and one component here. It depends the problem. Before the calculation of tau, we have to precise the pivot point. It's important, pivot point. I mean, I want to calculate tau with respect to this point. This point, it can be at A, it can be at B, or any point on the road. Let me explain this point. If I want to calculate the value of mg, so I put the pivot point at A. If I want to calculate the value of R, so I put the pivot point at B because we don't have tau of the force passing through the pivot point. We can say directly, the force passing through the pivot point has zero torque. So we can say directly tau of R equals to zero because I take the pivot point at A. Okay, if I take the pivot point, if the pivot point is at B, so tau of mg equals to zero. Okay, so it depends the 
problem. Let's continue. So here I want to calculate tau of mg equals to r cross mg. R is a vector position, is a uh, position vector between the pivot point and mg. You know, this distance equals to L over two, the magnitude. So here we get L over two times mg times sine the angle between R and mg equals to 90. So equals to one. What about the direction of tau? Here it's a very important point. We have to use the right hand rule. Okay, I mean, look here, uh, you have your finger, your finger uh, must take the direction of R to the right, your palm, your, okay, you, you have your, uh, your palm, I mean, your palm, uh, F must be out of your palm, out so you have your palm is directed downward so you get your finger here uh, gives you the direction of tau it must be inward the page when i say inward the page i mean it's x and directly you say minus g j Okay, if the force is, if tau is outward, you say point and plus j. Okay, so tau of mg is inward. So we have, we put here minus j. So the total tau of the system equals to minus L over two mg j. Here about the direction. First of all, we can uh, determine the, the direction like this. If uh, the force F turns the system uh, clockwise or anticlockwise. Look here, we have the pivot point is at A. Mg uh, turns the object down. So we have a clockwise. If we have a clockwise direction, so tau must be negative. If we have a anticlockwise direction, so tau must be positive. I give you an example to explain this point. For this, mg with this answer equals to minus j. I'm talking about the direction, okay? I give you another example to explain this point. Here we have a wall and I give you a road. The road is like this, uh, moves around an axis passing by this extremity. So we have here simply a point A where we have the axis. And on the object, we have the weight, push down the object, and we have the reaction at the point A. 
uh, to keep the system uh, at, its, at this position, we can fix this extremity by a cord here. So we get the system stable. In this case, we get a tension on the cord like this. I ask you to calculate the total tau of the system, which is equal. You know here, I have to put the components of each F. We draw a, simply, uh, a simple line on the system like this. So we get here two components, T, Y, and Tx. Here we have Mg, Tx, and Ty. And I give you the angle here equal to theta. Now, before the calculation, let me uh, know which uh, force doesn't have tau. You know, it depends the pivot point. I take the pivot point, for example, at A. In this case, you have R is passing through A. We can say tau of R equals to zero, okay? We have Tx, look, you have Tx here. If you, the, uh, you take the line of Tx, will go through the pivot point. In this case, we can say directly equals to tau of Tx equals to O. Why? Because R and Tx passing through the pivot point. Okay. Okay, now uh, we have to calculate uh, tau of Ty and tau of Mg. Let's start with tau of Mg. Equals to R. from the pivot point to Mg. And we have the angle between them equals to O. So times Mg, we get the length of this R equals to L over two times Mg times sine 90 equals to one. What about the direction? We can put this one here. Uh, I take your right hand, take your right hand. You have R like this. You have your finger like this. Mg is down. So you put your palm downward and look for for your finger will be inward okay so we can say tau will be in okay we can write here directly minus j okay we get finally l over 2 mg minus you know mg turns the object downward down down i mean uh, clockwise clockwise so tau of, of mg is negative as you see here is negative what about tau of ty tau of ty equals to we can 
okay you have ty r of ty must be from the pivot point to ty the length of r ty equals to l from here to here okay we can say here r cross ty which is equal to r ty sine 90 the angle between r and ty equals to 90 so sine 90 equals to 1 what about the direction what we have to do we put your right hand r is like this ty is up So you have your palm is upward, upward. You get your finger will be out. Okay, so we have tau is out. And the plus J. We get here plus J. The total tau equals to minus l over 2 uh, before the total tau let me calculate ty before to calculate ty we can take this right triangle erect triangle uh, to calculate ty we can take sine theta so sine theta equals to ty over t ty equals to t sine theta so tau ty equals to r equals to l times t sine theta j we get the final result we have minus j and plus j so we get here minus l over 2 mg plus l t sin theta all this j meter per meter times newton this is the total uh, tau of the system now i can take for example the pivot point at the point b because i need to calculate the reaction by using this calculation we don't have the reaction so uh, if i want to calculate r how much i take the pivot point at b let's take b is here in this case tau of t equals to zero and we can calculate easily uh, tau of r and tau of mg okay we can do some application later the final relation now about tau you know in the case in the case of linear motion we have newton's law summation of f equals to ma okay in the case of rotational motion, we can get some new calculation with tau. Summation of tau, okay, we can use tau in the place of f, equals to i is the moment of inertia in the place of m. And here in the place of a, we can talk about the angular acceleration alpha. You know, alpha, you have a relation between a tangent equals to r times alpha. You know this relation. And i equals to icm plus md square. Okay? So it's important to, to know these relations. We talk in details later with the application.